Is the Canon 80D worth it? I think it is. I mean, if you're looking at these DSLRs now these days and their expensive prices and their expensive lenses, I can't run with it. All I know is this. I got three of the cheapest lenses. I got the uh, Nifty 50, I got the Pancake 24mm lens, and I got the 10 to 18. That's the lowest prices lenses that you can get for Canon. I mean, there's other deals out there, but I'm happy for what I got. The body itself for the Canon 80D is going for about $1,000. Really, that isn't that bad. If you do a couple jobs out there, you can collect that money, sell a couple sneakers, do whatever you gotta do, you can make it happen. It's the perfect tool to be able to create your own reality vlog show or whatever it is you're doing it's the perfect setup for that i seen several vloggers out there with it and i said you know what i like what i see from this camera don't have the best lenses yet but for now i'm gonna be happy with what i have i have the cheapest microphone the cheapest tripod and the cheapest lens you can have on so i'm looking at my budget because in all reality it's not about doing video it's about the content that you're putting out there i could very easily make content with my phone or use my little point and shoot that I got which works so lovely I really wanted a DSLR I really wanted some high quality pictures I really wanted some great video and this is the perfect vessel for it and I see a lot of people doing good work with cameras that they bought from 2012 but they hooked it up with some serious lenses some serious glass and they're doing incredible work I'm seeing videos out there that are blowing my mind and I'm seeing pictures that are blowing my mind from cameras that are very very old but it has some pricey glass on it so it's not about camera body itself it's about what you put on it it's about the glass so for now i'm at the beginning and i love the glass that i have on it so far and this is what i wanted the 10 to 18 is a perfect lens i really enjoy it i look forward to creating content with it all right so on one last note i also have the canon g7x mark ii which was is an amazing camera i played with the canon 7d i've played with the canon 6d mark ii there's a couple other cameras that i've handled and i just have to say that there's a lot of good cameras out there but this was the camera that really grabbed my attention i love how it's easy to use of course everybody talks about the articulating screen that's very important you want to make sure that you're in the right place the only thing that bothered me about this is once you start messing with this camera and the processor that's in it which is the digic 7 processor and then you go play with the canon uh, 80d you notice that it's the digic 6 processor it's definitely not the same it's a lot easier to function with a digic 7 which the 6d mark ii has i love the software on it if there's a way to upgrade the software on the 80d that would be amazing and i'm gonna try to find a way i love what the canon 80d provides it's an amazing camera it's my first dslr i've been reading and researching about this camera for a very long time i'm fully convinced that i made the right choice but in all reality you got to find out what works for you this was the best for me sony has their line lumix has their line panasonic you have fuji films olympus i love what canon provides i have two canon cameras of course the ADD doesn't have 4K, but I'm not a 4K guy yet. I don't even own a 4K TV yet. But little by little, everybody's transitioning to that. But my main thing was to make videos for YouTube. And the majority of the people are watching YouTube on their telephones. And that's all I was worried about, to make good quality videos that would look great on your phones, on your tablets, on your laptops. That's all I got to say. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. My name is Daniel, and this is Scratch and Beyond the Surface. It's always smart to invest in a good camera. You're gonna get tired of using your phone. The quality of your phone, though it's nice, it still has its limitations. I tried to use my phone a couple times, and I was like, this ain't working. This is not working. Is it worth it? Absolutely. Absolutely.